As soon as I get here, this hand is going to come over, grab his tight pants here. It's actually your bigger gear. I know. I'm going to grab the side of the knee. I'm pulling this up high and I'm hitting my flower suit. Okay? So, this, the reason I love this technique, it's safe. And also, how many points did I just get? Six. Six points that quick. Okay? I'm up. It's going to be hard for him to come back from that. Unless it's a lot better. Okay? And still, I can make it hard on. Okay? This variation that we're used to doing, we pull guard. To win. Okay? We're used to bringing this across here. Like, say we came here, we're going for the back, and we switch back off, and then hit our sweep. Okay? For this one, though, sometimes it's hard to get his arm across when I've pulled guard in this position. So, this one, I'm just able to pull it up over my head. Say, I use my legs. Here, I pull, use my legs, pull them here. This hand, I can even underhook the leg here if I need to. But I like to get this pant grip if possible, okay? Because I can hang on to that for other things. Now, he's definitely going to be trying to come back up like this, okay? I'm going to use it as he comes up, I'm going to catch him. Is that keep this arm? Because where do I need to get? Under his elbows, here. So now, He's in a real bad spot, okay? And I just got a bunch of points. Okay, now I can get my grip on the pants. If his pants are too tight, I can underhook the leg here. Detail, there's different ways to do this flower suit. We're just talking about this over here, okay? You can come here and you can like post this on the mat or you can kind of like scissor sweep a little here and bring this up. Some people stomp the mat and kick and push up. The way I like to do it, is I take both, because this gets his hips, I engage his hips sooner when I do it this way. Both feet are going to go up towards where the wall makes the ceiling here. Like I'm kicking both feet out, okay? Now, once both feet are out, the bottom one's coming around like a scissor sweep, okay? But what's the difference? Watch his hips when I do that. See how his hips are already coming to me? If I stomp and do this, by the time all this happens and I start bumping my hips, his hips are still down. Okay, he's gonna get heavy quick. Okay, when I do this one, and I come up. Okay, so another thing I can do, I can underhook this leg here. When I go for this sweep, maybe I tried to do this sweep earlier and he blocked it. So this time I'm gonna come in and I go to sweep, right to the arm. Okay, I rarely catch it right there. Okay, normally when I catch the arm is when I go for the sweep and he posts here and he squares back into me, here. And I bring it around and catch it. Keeping the leg and not keeping the leg. Here, 
I've got this arm lock pretty well, but he can start stacking me here. He can do what he's supposed to do and start coming up here if I don't finish it quick, okay? If I keep this, when I go for it, and he's not gonna stack me here. He has no base, okay? I can hold on, and it, now if he gets his leg back, I can finish this easy. Versus getting put up on my neck, okay? So that's why I like to hang on to that leg as long as possible. I use my legs so I get this underhook. I go to sweep here, arm lock, okay? I'm gonna grab the meaty part of the thumb here so we can't turn here, okay? There, I'm gonna raise my hips. I'm biting down here and I'm pulling his head to me like this. I'm gonna keep this leg, okay? I can turn loose and grab the arm, but I can even bring this here if I need to. That's all I've gotta do, okay? I come under here, I gotta sweep and he posts there. What do I got set up right here? Okay. I get this leg through here. Bring it across. Okay? I don't want to just hook it up. I can hook it up on this side and attack the arm. But if I want the triangle, when I get that leg through, I've got to cut this angle here. That's where it's easy. Super easy. We're just going to go straight into the arm lock. And the next time, go straight into the triangle one day. Like an option is. I pulled, I'm under the leg, he posts here, okay? When he posts, I like to grab here. That way I can kind of control his upper body. Boom. Bring this up. Now, which way do I need to go? This way, okay? This seems like it's easy to hook up. You see where my legs are? I'm, I'm fighting his shoulder. When I go this way here, and if I can't push, I'm just going to turn here. I'm going to underhook the arm and turn. Now look how easy it is to hook it up. And he's right in it. I can take this arm, triangle, okay? Got to get comfortable cutting that angle in the triangle. And your triangles are going to get so good, okay? So that's two submission options. We got a six-point sweep and two submission options off that one really fundamental one. The arm lock setup we just did, okay, you can start piecing things together and get matches over with really quick if you get efficient with that turn on the arm lock, okay? So I'm coming here, I pull guard, I've got my guard pull, I can automatically swing this right into it. I just want to show y'all a quick little thing of where you can go with this if you keep developing, okay? Um, for the next 15 minutes, it's open mat drilling, okay? So drill whatever it is you like. Uh, just make sure you get some good reps in, okay? Whatever you've been working on, YouTube. Okay. All right. So, guys, you need to drink a water. Have one.